I have a question with you. All of you have studied Staphylococcus aureus so well. Staphylococcus aureus is aerobic bacteria or facultative anaerobic bacteria? This is the question. Let me explain that it is aerobic or facultative anaerobe. Let's go to the very basic. Let's suppose we have here three bacteria and let's suppose here is a bacterium which is very very primitive evolution wise. If it is very primitive, it runs on anaerobic and aerobic metabolism. Anaerobic metabolism means if this bacteria is running anaerobic metabolism, it simply means that when it is breaking macromolecule to get the energy, the final electron acceptor is not oxygen, right? So, because oxygen is not the final electron acceptor, this is called anaerobic metabolism. Anaerobic metabolism is primitive and it produces less energy and classical classical example of anaerobic bacteria is close group of clostridia clostridia clostridium tetani or clostridium perfringens and many other right right then there are some organism which developed some evolution and along with their anaerobic metabolism they also acquired the metabolic machinery for aerobic metabolism. Aerobic metabolism. What does it mean? That if oxygen is available, they are capable of aerobic respiration. It means if oxygen is available, when they are breaking the macromolecules through glycolysis and Krebs cycle, and they will take the electron through the electron transport chain and final acceptor of electron will be oxygen. When in bacterial respiratory pathway, final acceptor of electron is oxygen, we say bacteria is running aerobic respiration and it produces a lot of energy. Is that right? But this bacteria has a special capacity. Even though it has acquired aerobic respiratory machinery, but it is still keeping anaerobic machinery also, anaerobic metabolic enzyme machinery also. So, if oxygen level is low, it can switch to anaerobic metabolism where energy yield is less, but at least it, it can survive in anaerobic environment. Then there are this bacteria, it has lost its capacity to for an aerobic metabolism. Once it acquired the modern pathway that is aerobic metabolism. So it can only run its metabolic pathway in the presence of oxygen to yield energy. So how we will uh, categorize these bacteria? This bacteria is called obligate. Obligate aerobe obligate aerobe because it can run metabolism only in the presence of oxygen classical example of it is mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis here double action bacteria which prefers to use the aerobic pathway but if oxygen is not available then it will switch to anaerobic pathway they are because they prefer to use aerobic pathway due to this presence preference they are called aerobic bacteria they are called aerobic bacteria but if oxygen become less they have faculty or capacity to switch to anaerobic bacteria anaerobic metabolism so they are also called facultative anaerobes anaerobes right and if again oxygen is available, they will switch from anaerobic pathway, which is less efficient, to aerobic pathway, which is more efficient to produce energy. Then it is called facultative aerobes. Facultative aerobes. So, what I want my students to remember that 
लूजली स्पीकिंग एरोबिक बैक्टीरिया और फैकल्टेटिव एनरोब और फैकल्टेटिव वट इज दिस एरोब दे आर वन एंड द सेम थिंग विच है बोथ मेटाबोलिक पाथवे एरोबिक एज वेल एज एनरोबिक बट प्रेफरेबली द यूज एरोबिक इफ ऑक्सीजन इज अवेलेबल राइट बट इफ ओनली एरोबिक पाथवे इज अवेलेबल वी से दिस इज ओब्लीगेट एरोब इफ ओनली एनरोबिक मेटाबोलिज्म पाथवे इज अवेलेबल देन वी कॉल इट ओब्लीगेट एन एरोब ओब्लीगेट and aerobes so according to this understanding then staphylococcus aureus because it has both pathways staphylococcus aureus so it is aerobic bacteria we can call it aerobic bacteria or we can also call it facultative anaerobic bacteria or we can call it facultative aerobic bacteria thank you very much